हेलो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर अर्षद नानी एंड माय सब्जेक्ट इज कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन द टॉपिक मेश रिफाइनमेंट मेथड्स हियर आर द पॉइंट्स दैट कवर्ड इन दिस मेश रिफाइनमेंट मेथड्स टॉपिंग इट इज एच रिफाइनमेंट पी रिफाइनमेंट एच पी रिफाइनमेंट आर रिफाइनमेंट रिड्यूसिंग द एलिमेंट साइज increasing the element order global adaptive mesh refinement local adaptive mesh refinement manually adjusting the mesh time adaptive mesh refinement and wavelength adaptive mesh refinement in its simplest form mesh refinement is a process of resolving the model with successively finer and finer meshes comparing the results between these different meshes this comparison can be done by analyzing the fields at one or more points in the model or by evaluating the integral of a field over a some domains or boundaries by comparing the scalar quantities it is possible to judge the convergence of the solution with respect to mesh refinement after comparing a minimum num minimum of three successive solutions and asymptotic behavior of the solution starts to emerge and the changes in the solution between meshes become smaller eventually these changes will be small enough that the analyst can consider the model to be converged this is always a judgment call on the part of the analyst who knows the uncertainties in the model input and the acceptable uncertainty in the results the edge method edge refinement method is shown in the figure the edge method improves the result by using a finer mesh of the same type of element this method refers to decreasing the characteristic length edge of elements dividing each existing element into two or more elements without changing the type of elements used more accurate information is obtained by increasing the number of elements the name for the edge method is borrowed from mathematics the variable edge is used to specify the step size in a numeric integration if a part is modeled with a very coarse mesh then the stress distribution across the part will be very inaccurate in order to increase the accuracy of the solution more elements must be added this means creating a finer mesh as an initial run a coarse mesh is used to model a problem a solution is obtained to check this solution a finer mesh is created then again solution is obtained which is compared with the initial solution then the mesh must be made even finer and then solve the again solution obtained this process is repeated until the solution is not changing much from the run to run p refinement method the p refinement method is shown in the figure in p method it improves the results by using the same mesh but increasing the displacement field accuracy in the each element this method refers to increasing the degree of the highest complete polynomial p within an element without changing the number of elements used the p in p method stands for polynomial large elements and complex shape functions are used in p method problems in order to increase the accuracy of the solution the complexity of the shape function must be increased increasing the polynomial order increases the complexity of the shape function the mesh does not need to be changed when using p method as an initial run the solution might be solved using a first order polynomial shape function to check the solution the problem will be solved again using a more complicated shape function for the second run the solution may be solved using a third order polynomial shape function the output from the two runs is compared if there is a large difference between two solutions then the solution should be run using third order or next order polynomial shape function this process is repeated until the solution is not changing much from the run to run the next method is the hp refinement method 
The figure shows the HP refinement method technique. In HP refinement method, the mesh size is refined simultaneously with the increase the value of P. A properly designed HP refinement method gives faster convergence as compared to the H and P method. Along with these techniques, which are HP and HP methods, are generally used in today's finite element analysis problems. But along with these methods, there are different techniques which are used. For example, R refinement. The R refinement method, the node numbers are relocated without changing the number of elements. These are the convergence methods of prior error estimates. When it comes to mesh, refinement there is a suite of technique that are commonly used an experienced user of finite element analysis software should be familiar with each of these techniques the next is the mesh refinement technique is the reducing the element size the reducing the element size is the easiest mesh refinement strategy with element size reduced throughout the modeling domains this approach is attractive due to its simplicity but the drawback is that there is no preferential mesh refinement in regions where a locally finer mesh may be needed. Oh, next is the increasing the element order. This is one of the mesh refinement technique. Increasing the element order is advantageous in the sense that no remeshing is needed. The same mesh can be used but with different element orders, remeshing can be time consuming for complex 3D geometries or the mesh may become from the external source and cannot be altered. The disadvantage to this technique is that the computational requirement increases and faster than with other mesh refinement techniques. The next mesh refinement technique is the global adaptive mesh refinement technique. This technique uses an error estimation strategy to determine the point in the modeling domain where the local error is largest. The finite element analysis software then takes this error estimation and uses the information to generate the entirely new mesh. Smaller elements are used in the regions where the local error is significant and the local error throughout the model is considered. The advantage here is that the software will do all of the mesh refinement. The drawback is that the user has no control over the mesh. As such, excessive mesh refinement may occur in regions that are of less interest regions where larger where a larger local error is acceptable. The next mesh refinement technique is a local adaptive mesh refinement. In case of local adaptive mesh refinement, differs from global adaptive mesh refinement in that the error is evaluated only over a, some subset of entire model space with respect to a specific metric. For example, it is possible to refine the mesh such that stresses at the boundary of a hole are more accurately resolved. This meshing strategy will still remesh the entire model with the objective of reducing the error in the one region. If a logical and desirable local metric exists with respect to which mesh can be refined, the local adaptive approach is superior over the global adaptive mesh refinement technique. The next is the manually adjusting mesh. The most labor intensive approach is for the analyst to manually create a series of different finite element meshes based upon the physics of the particular problem and an intuition, intention as to where finer elements may be needed. For 2D models, a combination of triangular and quadrilateral elements can be used. In case of 3D models, a combination of tetrahedral, hexahedral, triangular prismatic and pyramidal pit elements can be used, while triangular and tetrahedral elements can be utilized to mesh any geometry, the quadrilateral hexahedral elements 
are helpful when the solution is known to vary gradually along one or more directions by elongating or shrinking elements in certain directions the mesh can be tuned to the variation in the fields the figure shows the manually adjusting mesh for two dimensional planes in case of two dimensional on the upper side four noded elements are used while in the curve area the triangular meshes are used next is the time adaptive mesh refinement technique the time adaptive mesh refinement technique remeshes the model at a distinct time intervals and considers an error estimate of the solution at each interval as a metric by which to remesh the model this is useful when regions requiring good mesh resolution move over time the figure shows the time adaptive mesh refinement technique the time adaptive mesh refinement of a model of a rising bubble solved with a two phase flow model the finite element mesh is finer around the phase boundary as shown in figure the next mesh refinement technique is the wave adaptive mesh refinement the mesh wave adaptive mesh refinement is shown in the figure where the microwave wave guide with a dielectric load wavelength adaptive mesh adaptive mesh refinement alters the element size and base upon the frequency and material properties when modeling in the frequency domain both the range of excitation frequencies and the material properties are known ahead of time thus it is possible to predict the wavelength in all modeling domains the element size must be sufficiently smaller than the wavelength such that the element polynomial basis functions to resolve the waves okay friends this is about the mesh refinement technique Uh, we have seen different type of mesh refinement techniques generally analysts are using h refinement p refinement as well as hp refinement techniques or there are the certain refinement techniques which have seen reducing the element size increasing the number of elements as well as adaptive mesh generation types etc so thank you in the link